Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So we're gonna work on one of these AM FM um, cassette player, CD player stereos and uh, see what they have in them. This one looks like it's had a little bit of a rough life. But there's really no telling uh, what may or may not be in there. So y'all hang out with me and uh, see what we can find. Track boy. And we're back. So I kind of feel like I should start y'all right here. Um, so I took the back cover off and the two sides and all of it is wood. I took the screws out. There's no metal brackets or anything in any of it. Um, so if you're like me and you got an outside wood stove, it burns, it's free heat. Why would I throw it away? Um, but after I pulled those off, of course, you see what we got here. It's trying to collapse. So uh, I figured I'd bring y'all back and uh, let y'all see what we got going on here. So it looks like somebody's been in it before because that was a uh, tape. Put these wires off here. This has got a plug. This one has a plug. Ah, that's the reader. So this piece should come out, and that piece should come out. So that separates that, so we'll get back to that piece in a little bit. Alright. So, this is where the cord came in at power cord. So it comes in here, splits in a couple directions. You get your black, it comes up here and powers the board. Which I find interesting that it took that much power to the board. So it's probably another transformer on the other side of this board here. You got your two that come over here and go to the transformer and all your step down transformer and all your wires come out to power everything else. So I may have that wire fused. No, I don't see a fuse in there. Interesting. So this is your speaker jacks left and right. Plug. And there's your headphone jack. seeing any gold. So, all the wires are disconnected except for these. So we'll just take and cut these right here. And everything is disconnected. 
Roll this bad boy over. Take these screws out. screws, the transformers being held by screws. Sometimes you gotta hold the nut on the other side. I'll throw this in once I take these four screws out. I'll throw that in with the other wood to burn. Transformer, we finish cleaning up. Again, motors, transformers, you know, all that good stuff. Go in the same bucket. So I'm going take some screws apart and then I'll bring y'all back so you don't have to sit here and watch me take this 10-15 uh, screws out right here. So I'll be back with y'all in a second. And welcome back. So I didn't move anything. I just took the screws out of it and left it where it was. So we'll start with this. Really? Alright, so that's got something to do with the switches to tell it when to stop moving um, for the disc changer. Because it's got two switches on it, so I guess it just interrupted the power going back down to the motor, letting it know when to stop. So we'll throw that in the, you know, that board. There's a metal. This is a motor connected to something somewhere. See, it's got two motors here. You got your eye here that moves up and down, reading your DVDs. And it's just in a, its own little platform there. So I'll probably just snap the board around the edge of the motor and throw the motors with the motor, put the rest of the board over there. I'll pull this eye out and put it with the rest of the eyes that I've been saving. I know there's a good use for them. I haven't looked into what it is yet and you know the metal goes with the metal so I don't want to bore y'all with all that I can't really see underneath this so it's got two screws in that plastic bracket and you just get the motor left Bunch of plastic gears, the metal plate. And that looks like that's it. You got this piece here, it's got a piece of brass in it, which is what I snapped off. So I'll pull that piece of brass out and put it with the rest. 
and my brass that I'm slowly collecting. Nice little piece of brass there. I'll break that apart in a little bit. So let's see what was in this piece. So again, I'm going to take a bunch of screws out. I'll probably pull some of these wires off and get them out of the way. <coughs> and I'll bring y'all back. These wires go through the board. These are just plugs. Turn right off. Attach to the board. Attach. Attach to the motor. So yeah, I'll clip and clean some of this stuff up. Take all these screws out. Holding the board in. And this stuff. And uh, I'll bring y'all back, let you see what we got. Alright, so I took a bunch of screws out. Um, and I forgot to talk about this with the last radio that I did. Should be ready to come out. Hold on to some buttons on the other side there. This little box here, it's got four little brass screws in the back. I see you can make adjustments on it. That's actually the tuner. That's what tunes the radio stations in as you turn the knob that was on the other side here. You've got your display here for radio station. Here's a crystal oscillator. This knob looks like it's got a brass outer shell. This heat sink might be brass. Um, two little IC chips. Another IC chip. A little roller copper there. A couple more plugs we can pull out. And uh, that looks like that's going to be about it. Well, I've got this, which goes for number two copper. And that's aluminum heat sink. And you got four chips on the back. Three uh, flat packs and one IC. So I'll clean this up. And we will get that taken care of. We got a little chip or a little board right here. That's gonna do right. This is probably just got a couple of lights on it or something. See, it's got two LEDs on there, so I'll just cut that off and toss that in with the, with the boards. I have this. A couple of screws. Not nothing worth really dealing with. Toss that in the trash. So this is the same thing, basically, that came like from the other radio. Um, so I'll strip this down a little bit, try to get some of this plastic off of here get this motor off 
and uh, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, the rest of this will go scrap, this will go motor. So we ended up with what, one transformer and four motors from this. That's, that's not too bad. Some IC chips, some aluminum, uh, some brass here and a little piece over there and some chips off this side and a crystal oscillator. Uh, that's not, it's really not too bad. Um, and really that's why I, I scrapped some of this stuff so I can get some of this stuff because you can sell all the all these things I listed you can sell by weight so sit around at night goof off waiting on something to print or whatever instead of tearing up a computer um, that you need to leave everything on the boards you get stuff like this and you can take everything off the board because uh, I mean that, that might maybe medium grade but I doubt it um, I'd rather just pull the chips off and, you know, take what I want. Uh, this also has a crystal in it, and I'm not sure what's up with the crystal. I haven't researched that, but I know that's your tuning crystal, so. But, anyway, that's basically it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed seeing that. Um, I'm always looking for new things to tear apart, to show y'all, and for me to learn at the same time. And I try to keep my videos as short as possible, so. We'll see y'all in the next video. Have a good one.